Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be looking at year-to-date returns visualized for every single year of Bitcoin going back to 2011. We don't go back to 2010 because we don't have data going to January 1st of 2010, but I thought this would be a nice visual representation of year-to-date returns on Bitcoin for every single year. Obviously, year-to-date is an important metric in a lot of different asset classes. Let's do it in crypto. Let's use it for crypto as well. So if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So Bitcoin in 2011 had a fairly good year, right? What did it do? In the first half of it, it went up 100x. More than 100x, by the way. More than 100x. Now, did it finish the year off at 100x? No. If we were just blind to what happened in the middle of it, we could say even then, it still finished the year above a very modest 10x. Right? Somewhere between 10 and 20x. If you're not familiar with these charts, this is a logarithmic scale. So 10 to the 0 is 1, 10 to the 1 is 10, and 10 squared is 100. Each major tick is 10x up. This, the reason we do this is because it gives a great way to visualize data that spans orders of magnitude. Okay, if we don't do it like this, then it sort of drowns out most of what happens in, in, in a Bitcoin chart. Because as we know, Bitcoin likes to span orders of magnitude. It's gone up, what, 100 million percent since inception. Therefore, logarithmic charts generally make sense. And even if we discretize it yearly, it still makes sense. Okay, because Bitcoin can put in fairly nice returns even in a given year. Now, I know there's going to be some people that are going to say measuring it year to date probably isn't really that useful. And to some degree, you could be right, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that you can take this to the bank because they're not going to cash it in, that's for sure. I'm not saying that this is the best analysis I've ever come up with because it's probably not. But it's just one more thing we can look at, right? And again, a lot of, uh, a lot of asset classes use, use this. People want to know what's the, what, what are the returns year to date? And therefore, let's visualize it. So here's 2011 finish the year off at between 10 and 20x. Now, 2012 was certainly not a year to get out of bed for, right? I mean, Bitcoin's peak in the year, if measured year to date, was again, it was somewhere between say two to three x. Not a great year, even for, for back then. And I mean, 2012 was fairly early on in Bitcoin's life cycle. I mean, like, who wouldn't want to buy Bitcoin in 2012 if you could go back in time? But actually in 2012, if you had bought it at the beginning of the year, by the end of the year, the returns would have been somewhat okay, right? Bitcoiners today don't get out of bed for a two to three X move. I mean, I know maybe that makes us sound greedy, but it's sort of true, right? I mean, when people are accumulating Bitcoin at, at $4,000, it's not like they're gonna, they're not gonna ring the, 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 the victory bells when it goes to 8K or 12K, right? This is just simple accumulation. 2013, now we have two years that are going up to around 100x. Now this isn't quite 100x, this is the tick for 100x, so maybe it went between 80 and 90x, fairly nice return. This peaked in November, this peaked in the summer, right? Summer peak, November peak, two peaks that took us above 10x, okay? They, they, they occurred at different times in the year, but they both finished the year off above a 10x ROI. Now we get to 2014. 2014 was a bad year, and you can see we were below one, right? 10 to the zero is one. Remember, 10 to the minus one will be 0.1. So you don't want it to make it there in one year because then you're looking at a 90% loss, which that's not fun. 2015, more or less humdrum, right? Finishing the year off just above one. 2016, finishing the year off just above two. 2017, now we're cooking. Why? We finished the year off above 10x. Fairly methodical move too, rather than 2011, which sort of peaked early on, and then we, we bled for the rest of the year. We finished the year off at the same level, more or less, in terms of the yearly year-to-date ROI that year that we had done in 2011. The only difference was in 2011, everyone was super bearish at the time because we were actually down 90%, right? <laughs> um, maybe not 90, maybe 80 or something. We were down significantly that by that point, but everyone, people were bearish just because of what most recently happened. But 2017, we finished the year off at the same return, but everyone was euphoric. Because again, people are, they, they react to the market, what it's doing that day, or what it's doing in the most recent month, not what it did on, on, on say, the entire year. Um, so it has a way of, of clouding the judgment as to how the asset performed. 2018, another bad year, right? So 2014, 2018 were bad years. A lot of people are expecting 2022 to be a bad year. And look, it could be a bad year, but at this point, until Bitcoin actually shows that it's going to do something more impressive than, than hanging out here, 
I don't necessarily think we need to be overly concerned with a long bear market in 2022. Could it happen? Yeah, it could. What are ways it could happen? If Bitcoin goes to like 150 to 200 K within 60 days or something, yeah, like it's probably gonna be a bear market year. If it doesn't do that, then, I mean, I still think time is on our side, right? I still think time is on our side. Now, 2019, fairly interesting year, but we finished the year off at around a 2X or so, right? So, so nothing too impressive. 2020 was actually a fairly interesting year because it went down all the way to $3,800. But again, we're not measuring it from, from, the, from the yearly low, we're measuring it from year to date. And if you measure it year to date, we're only up around 4X in 2020. Why? Well, I believe we started 2020 somewhere between seven and 8K, somewhere around that area. We finished the year off at 28 or 29K, makes sense, about a 4X or so. 2020 is the closest year we've had to these other years. Okay, so, so far, year to date, 2020 is the fourth best year out of all of them, right? Fourth best. But a lot of people don't really consider 2020 to be that great. Uh, they, they always think about 2021 being the year that the Bitcoin was supposed to, to, to go insanely parabolic. And look, it is not lost on me that it still could. Again, I know I, know I say, you know, Bitcoin's not going to go to 300K this, this year. Um, and then some people say, well, you know, you don't know that, right? Because it could still do it in six weeks. Fine, it could, but they've been saying that the entire year. I mean, once upon a time, we were supposed to have gone to 300K several months ago. So at some point, you just sort of grow tired of hearing the same thing over and over and over. And they're, you know, just shifting the target another month down, the, another month away, another month away. Well, eventually you'll be right, right? Eventually it'll go to 300K. But that's not the point, right? Just speculating the Bitcoin's going to go up 5X in six weeks. Um, is, is highly unlikely, right? It's highly unlikely. Could we go to 100K this year? Yeah, I mean, we could go to 100K. Um, 300K? No, I don't know. I really don't think so. Um, but again, it's not lost on me that, that it is possible. I, that is a common question or a common comment I see is, you know, well, just you wait for, for, for next week, right? For, 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 for next week. That's when we're going to go to 300K. Um, look, as I've said before, I'd rather be rich then right. If it goes to 300K, then fine. I was wrong. But I don't anticipate Bitcoin going to 300K this year. Okay. Now, let's get to 2021 because that's I'm sure what people want to talk about. Here's 2021. What's it doing? Right? I mean, it, it's all the way down here. It's up about 2X. I mean, so 2X it can't be right. right? How, how can it's only up 2X? Bitcoin started the year at around $29,000. We're trading for 62K. So 29 times 2 is 58. We're barely trading about 58. We were at 58 just a few days ago. So yeah, for 2021, despite all the headlines and all the Bitcoin to the moon thumbnails that you've seen for the entirety of the year, we're up 2X, right? We're up 2X. It's not even the fourth best year. Hell, it's not even the fifth best year so far. Now, could it overtake those? Of course it could overtake them. I mean, if, if Bitcoin went to say, 90k by the end of the year then we'd be looking at a 3x but even then it would still be underperforming 2020. we'd have to go to 120k more or less to just to get to the same returns that 2020 saw year to date right and and we're not even there yet we still need to go up another 2x so you can see that 2021 again while it's been cracked up to be to to, to be the the year the bitcoin's just going to go straight up it actually hasn't been that way and in fact, if you remember earlier this year, you know, it's, it's easy to, to sort of forget what, what was said back in April, right? But again, if you go back to April, we said back then, look, we're ahead of schedule. We need to come back down. We need to have a summer lull at the very least, give us three to six months, then we can get back on course. At the time, right, at the time, most people were thinking we were just gonna track 2017, right? And, and just continue going up with 2017. But that hasn't happened. And now, now it has just shifted, say, you know, to a to a, a parabolic rally in the last five weeks. Why? Are they pulling it out of thin air? No, they're not, right? They're, 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 they're looking at 2013. But again, we, we said it looks like a, a version of 2013 back in January, but albeit at least it seems like a, a stretched out version of 2013 um, at the very least. So we'll keep an eye on it. But again, to, to, to go to those crazy valuations, um, of 300k, I mean, you'd be looking at Bitcoin going up 10x in in one year if it could make it there. So basically, we would need to start going straight up now, right? We'd have to go straight up now, just like we did in 2013. Okay, and you can already see as measured, we're 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 already falling behind schedule here because in 2013 we were already cooking again, right? We were cooking. 
This time, not so much, right? Not so much. We're, we're actually, we put in a new all-time high, and then we came back down, and we've been chilling for three weeks. Back in 2013, we didn't come back down and chill for three weeks. Right? That didn't happen back in 2013. We just, we, we put in a new all-time high, and we were off to the races, okay? Now, let's visualize this in a little, maybe a little bit easier way on visual, visually. Now, well, I don't know if this is easier now that I look at it, but now we're visualizing it based on green for the good years, yellow for the don't get out of bed years, red for the don't wake me up years, right? Don't even wake me up. 2014, 2018, awful years for Bitcoin. The yellow years are more or less humdrum years for Bitcoin. The green years are the years that we, man, we put in some nice gains. Now, with that said, could Bitcoin put in another 10x in one year? It is possible. I'm not going to say it's not possible. Um, would it, would it, maybe this year, honestly, would be the best chance it has, to be completely honest. I mean, I don't think Bitcoin's going to go to 300K by the end of the year. I think that's too lofty of a target. But I, I, would, I would say that this is probably the best chance it has of doing a 10X in one year because we started at 30K. Can we get to 300K by the end of the year? I don't personally think so, but if it's ever going to put in a 10x in one year, this is probably the year to do it. Why? Because the market cap is going to keep growing with time, and it's just going to become harder and harder. Now, if it doesn't happen, what would be the next best time? Well, I suppose the next best time would be if we were to have, say, an 80% correction, uh, let's suppose, or a 70%, I don't know. Let's suppose Bitcoin goes to like 150, let's say it goes to 200k this market cycle and has a retracement back to 50k. Then I guess the next best chance would be if we can go to 50k of 500k in one year or something. But the stars would have to align for that to happen. So I would say that the best chance that Bitcoin ever has of going up 10x one year is if it can do it this year. And, and that's unfortunately highly unlikely to happen, uh, especially because now we're, we're less than 60 days away from the end of the year, right? We're, st we're still less than 60 days away from the end of the year. So I, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, now, 2021, if we highlight 20, or actually, let me first show, this is a 10x, right? So anything up here, man, we're cooking that year. Okay, 10 to the zero, one, two years, we put in returns less than one. Now, I would speculate there's going to be plenty of years in Bitcoin's future where the returns are less than one. And I don't think you should use that as a reason to say that Bitcoin is not a good investment. I mean, this is not financial advice, but I don't think you should use that to say that it's not a good investment. Why? Well, look, I mean, yeah, there have been years that it does that, but even when it does that, we still just sort of continue on the following years and, and then we don't put it, we, we, we actually go back up some. You can see that there's only been two years where our returns were less than one measured year to date. And then in order, after that happened, it took several more years to get to another one where it was less than one, right? Several more years to get back to that area. So I would say, if, if there is a year like this, when you're, when you're sort of, um, you know, just really at the bottom, right? Just losses after losses after losses. These are the years really to just be blindly accumulating, right? No one really wants to do it. It's not cool to do it. If you're at like a, you know, if you're at some like reunion or, or some family get together, someone might say, well, you know, how's Bitcoin doing with a little smirk on their face or something, right? But, um, that's really just the time where you just kind of smile and nod and, and, and secretly uh, DCA Bitcoin because that's where the real money is made, right? These are the years where the real money is made. The people that bought in 2014, they, they saw the best returns in 2017. The people that bought in 2018 and 2019, those are the ones that saw the best returns over here, okay? So we're gonna have years like that in the future where Bitcoin goes down by the end of the year, but those are the best times to accumulate. And what's interesting, Again, is if you look at this light blue, this is 2021. Look, I mean, again, if, if you don't like this rep, just take it up with the data if you don't like it. Don't take it up with me. I'm just showing you the data. And look, so far in 2021, it hasn't been all that it's cracked up to be, right? We did not go to 300K earlier this year. In order for us to do that, we have had to see an ROI go all the way up here, which we did not do, or all the way down here, okay? Now, the question is, is what's going to happen between, say, now and the end of the year? Could we continue to trend higher? Yeah, I mean, if I had to guess, we'll probably be higher than we are right now by the end of the year, if I were guessing. But I don't really care if we are or we're not, right? I mean, if we're not, I, I don't think we're gonna go back down to say 20K or 30K or anything. I mean, you know, could we have pullbacks to, to, to 50K, to 55K, 45? It's possible, right, it's possible. But look, that's not why we're here. We're not here for, you know, to claim, oh, it's gonna go up to a certain value by a certain date. We're here to say, look, Bitcoin's a good investment. 
and um, we recognize sort of where we are. And so far in 2021, it hasn't really been what it's cracked out to be. Could it become what it's cracked out to be in the last 60 days or 50, 55 days, whatever, whatever it is at this point? Yeah, it could, but let's, let's remain a little bit more conservative. I think the best way to navigate the cryptoverse is to have conservative predictions and just be pleasantly surprised if, if, they out, if it outperforms, right? Say, all right, well, you know, if Bitcoin goes to 70K, 80K, 90K, ah, it's great. If it, if it outperforms that, even better, okay? So what I would prefer, honestly, is I'd prefer for us to just continue slowly moving up, right? If you slowly move up, we're not going into that manic bubble territory like we were back over here at 58K, uh, 60K, 64K, or 58, 61, and 64. This is when we said, hey, look, guys, we need to come down for a while. We're too far ahead of schedule. And so now, right now, we're, we're, at, a, we're at a year to date return of just over 2X, which is actually very similar to a lot of other years, right? I mean, it's very similar to, uh, let's go back. It's very similar to um, 2012, 2020, 2016, um, 2019, right? Like it, it, it so far has not been that special of a year for Bitcoin. Now, with that said, it has been very special for other coins. I mean, Ethereum is is, is cooking, right? I mean, it started the year at $700, right? I shaved my head because it was just bleeding against Ethereum. What choice did I have? So 2021 has been great for the altcoin market. It's been absolutely terrific for the altcoin market. We've seen altcoins put in phenomenal gains, but Bitcoin is only up 2x, okay? And I, I would argue though Bitcoin is a safer investment and it'll probably it'll it'll very highly likely protect your protect your downside risk in the event of a dump. Okay. So in the event of future phases where you might have a year, you know, a year where we, we don't put in great returns, Bitcoin will protect your downside risk. And then at some point I imagine Bitcoin will go parabolic and into a manic manic mode and then it just leaves everything behind. But until that time, if it's just kind of chilling above the 20 week, we know the path of least resistance is for alts to go up. All right, that's where we currently are until Bitcoin proves otherwise. Let me know what you guys think of this analysis. I, I, I know, I mean, I've actually shown this on the, on the channel once before, but it has been a while since we showed this. And, and I, I think the last time we showed this was actually back when we were still in 2020 and we were looking at the year to date returns in, in 2020. Okay, but look, so far, it looks like 2021 is highly likely to end up a yellow year, right? Red is bad, green is, uh, really good. Yellow is more or less humdrum. We're not getting out of bed for these types of returns, right? So this is the year we're looking at so far. We'll try to, we'll, we'll keep this updated, right? For the end of the year, we'll see. Maybe we'll, we'll tune back in December 1st, see where we are. We'll tune back in December 31st or January 1st, 2022 and see where we ended up and just say, all right, you know, did we end up in one of these uh, up here or are we down here? Okay. If you notice, the two years, 20, 2014 and 2018, where we were below one, okay, those two years, they were preceded by manic bubble years, 2013, the yellow one, and 2017, okay? But we're not up there, right? We're not in that danger yet. If Bitcoin goes up to that area by the end of the year, then at that point, if it does, within say the next 55 days, which I don't think it will, but if it does, it's highly likely, highly, highly likely at that point that 2022 would be a bear market, right? If Bitcoin goes to 300K by the end of the year, uh, you know, like, like some people are predicting, then if they're right, it is highly likely that 2022 would be, in fact, a bear market, okay? But if we're not doing that, if we're not going to those insane prices, then I would say it's just business as usual and that time is on our side. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. You'll get access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram Alert channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, and more. We are building that out. Make sure you guys subscribe, get the bell, click the bell icon, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.